We begin with breaking news out of South Mobile County. A woman has died after a shootout with sheriff's deputies in Kodan. It happened off Bellingrath Road just north of 188. That's where our team coverage is located tonight. NBC 15's Corey Pippen has reaction from the neighborhood. First, our Justin Moore shows us how it all went down. Justin. Well, within the last hour, the medical examiner's office arrived on scene to transport the body from this trailer park here. Uh, now, it all unfolded as Mobile County deputies were responding to a call this afternoon. The sheriff says a lady who suffered from mental illness went inside a neighboring trailer acting irrational. When deputies arrived, she yelled something at them and started firing gunshots out of a window in the trailer. Now, deputies returned gunfire, killing her. We don't know that she intended for this to happen. Uh, maybe she was at, at her wits, but now the, the, the guns and all, she may have knew were in that trailer belonging to another gentleman. She does not live there, but they know each other, and he had about five weapons in that trailer, and she fired at least two or three of those weapons. Uh, so as, as, as if maybe she wanted to make a, some kind of a, a stand. Now, deputies say they've been called out to this trailer park five times in the last six months for this particular woman. Uh, we were told no one else was either hurt or killed in this situation. In Coden, Justin Moore, NBC 15 News. Justin, thanks. Our team coverage continues now with Corey Pippen. He is out in that same neighborhood right now. Of course, that neighborhood has been rocked today. Well, Kim, Greg, this deputy involved shooting has left a lot of folks on edge tonight. Neighbors we spoke to say they feared something like this might happen as deputies have been called to this neighborhood off Bellingrath Road weekly for months now. Several people tell me there have been complaints about the activity out here and one woman says the gunfire erupted shortly before her children got home from school. She says it's tragic the shooting happened at all, but she's glad no one else was hurt. She just hopes nothing like this happens again. Very scary, very scary. Shook up, I have kids here. They play outside all the time. It's a broad daylight and I mean, the cops have been here numerous of times. And nothing really gets done, so hopefully now it'll be a little more peaceful. But it's sad that it comes to this. Neighbors also say there were a number of people home during the gunfire. They were afraid their homes might be struck by stray bullets. We'll have much more on this situation coming up tonight at 10. For now, reporting live, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News. Thank you. This is just one of several recent deputy-involved shootings in Mobile County. Earlier this month, a man was shot by deputies at the Sims Walmart after he ran at them with a claw hammer. In December, a man was shot and killed by deputies at a home off Lot Road after firing a shot at them. Authorities ruled it was a case of suicide by cop. NBC 15 News was for us to tell you about shots being fired on Bellingrath Road. Make sure you download our free NBC 15 News app and sign up for breaking text alerts so you can get breaking news at your fingertips. For all of our coverage, visit our website, mynbc15.com.